Hello friends, good morning or whatever part of the day you have right now. I'm so excited. I'm inviting you to join me on a journey on an experiment of growing world record fast the adenium indoors. Faster than it will be grown outdoors on a sun. Uh, it's kind of a long story, but bear with me, I'll explain. This thought I start to have 28 years ago, in 1992, we had a hurricane on, in Hawaii. It, the hurricanes have names. Uh, this hurricane had a name Iniki and uh, it knocked down in our town the electrical and um, telephone poles. This was a long time ago when people we didn't walk around with uh, uh, cell phones, smartphones, all these things. Like now it's very common. So the civil defense made a kind of a special phone on the street where you can call anywhere in the world for free because like we have people here living from Japan, from Philippines, from wherever, uh, people around the world were worrying, oh, is my uh, dear person family, friend, or something alive, what happened, terrible hurricane, horrible, <clears throat> horrible shots on the news of a devastation. So people were telephoning and reassuring the loved ones that actually nobody died. So uh, everybody wanted to telephone from this special phone booth, people were staying in a line, including me. And as I was staying in a line, I got to talk to person next to me, a young man, and he was from Alaska. You might think, oh, how can a person from the cold Alaska being Hawaii, well, surprise, surprise, Japan or mainland United States are not quite so uh, close like Alaska to our island. It's common that people from Hawaii go fish to Alaska or people from Alaska when it's cold come to spend the winter in Hawaii. So this young man was telling me how it is so cold in winter that when the uh, car doesn't run, it has to be plugged in. They have uh, electrical outlets in a parking lot. It has to be plugged into electricity to be heated. Otherwise, something happens to the car that car cannot go anymore. Some things freeze in it or something. And I said to young man, oh, that's horrible that you live in Alaska. I wouldn't be able to live there because I like to garden. I like to grow flowers and fruit trees. And he says, oh, you would like it in Alaska. We have a, I have a friend who is growing a, Guinness, uh, Guinness Book of World Records cabbages and stuff. You know, record size vegetable. I said, how? He says, well, and this is the start of a point of my story. Listen to this trick. He says, well, our growing season is not as long as elsewhere. 
but we have uh, many, many hours a day. I forget if he said 24 hours a day or 20 hours a day or whatever he said. I don't know even if he said the number, but like extremely long time is a daylight. And so the plants can do the photosynthesis. Uh, so much per day that they grow very fast, very big. And that gave me the thought that, wow, that's kind of very interesting. If I wouldn't be afraid of those cold winters, I would like to grow. I would like to garden in Alaska to grow something or another. Well, it was kind of in the back of my mind. I wasn't actively thinking about it, but I was kind of doubting if the thing is true what he said. So I checked the Guinness Book of World Records in a um, public library and uh, they have uh, like bigger books and smaller books and in the bigger, um, more complete Guinness Book of World Records, I saw really, there is such thing that as a world record size fruits like a cabbage grown in Alaska. Well, let me just cut the chase and tell it to you faster. What happened is recently I got an email from a company that is selling a special grow lights that is not just a like electrical light bulb the, but it's scientific imitation of a sunlight and it uh, doesn't spend too much electricity creates tremendous light but with the uh, colors it's too scientific for me to explain but it, it imitates sunlight so the plants super like it and it spends very little electricity in compare to how much light it generates. And they said that if I would make a YouTube for my audience video about my experience with it, with this light, that they would send me uh, this product, this special grow light from a company called Mars Hydro and uh, they have uh, several products and they'll send me the one called 1000 and so I got a box so let me show you Ta -da. here is the box And here is the product. We have those special lights. Let me uh, turn off the camera and take everything out and then I'll turn on camera and show you a moment. Wow, it looks like they sent me two. Two boxes glued to taped together. Wow, that's really nice from them. Anyway, I would, I would have to learn how to assemble it and hang it. And uh, I read up on internet about it. Uh, it says that um, for flowering and fruiting, it should be hang lowest. So it'll light only two by two feet two by two, two feet by two feet square. For growing leafy plant, 
higher, so it'll light 3 by 3 feet square. And for sprouts, even higher, so it'll light 4 by 4 feet squares. And because I want to show you the result faster, fastest possible, I have a, I have a sprouts of a um, desert rose. I'll do that. Here are from Mr. Ram from Facebook seeds of Adenium Arabicum. And here are my old obesum. You see they're much smaller. I have a more and more seeds. So I will, oh, careful. I will uh, take two trays. One on, that have a similar or same kind of seeds, the type and the age. One tray would go and have like 20 hours per day and night light indoors. And one would have here, I cannot have it outside because it's raining in December, usually at night rains even all night in, in Hawaii. I mean Hawaii. Um, and then like one month later or something, if there is a bombastic difference, then I would show, or if there is no difference, I would show whatever, whatever happens to be the case. You see, I have trays and trays. I was looking on the internet. This company has a uh, bigger models and smaller models. They send me smaller model, but uh, they send me two of them. Wow, that's really nice from them. Um, and they have the most expensive model is looking like a tent. I guess they have maybe some aluminum foil from inside to reflect light or something and then the machine is inside special light is inside so maybe I'll just uh, uh, empty some uh, cloth closet and uh, put like the cooking aluminum foil on the walls maybe it'll be like that I don't know I have to figure out something uh, and uh, if you're gonna do it also, then uh, you can leave a comment how you're doing it and we can compare notes. Wow. Today is December 9th. I'm gonna put it Friday online, this video. That'll be December 11th. Wow, I got a Christmas present and soon I'm gonna have a birthday. 93, uh, uh, seven, not 93 yet, 73-year-old. I got a birthday and Christmas present. Wow, that's so nice from them. Hello, plant. Uh, so, what else to show you? Well, the company has a website um, where there is all this... Um, scientific technological things explained that I cannot explain and graphs and charts and everything let me show you I, I'll put under title in the description of a video I put a link I'll put a link to them so you can uh, read it because that'll be a boring video to uh, to read it to you and all that. Moment. This is the web, web page about the model they sent me, explaining the colors, how the different colors inside of a light do different good things for different aspects of a plant growth. Here is a lady 
growing beautiful flowers, huge, in Alaska during the long summer. Long hours, I mean, not long in number of days. Beautiful lady growing beautiful flowers. Here is a page about all kinds of agricultural things they can do because of many hours of light. This is the man, John Evans, in Alaska growing world record cabbages and other world record size fruits and I mean vegetables. Okay, the lights are set up. The leaflet was clear enough that even I could figure out how to set it up. The clothes closet where I was going to set it up uh, proved to be too small. The other room where I was thinking about, um, I didn't find where to hang it. Here I have uh, two different shelves and uh, I put it on two broomsticks. That's the only thing this thing didn't came with. They didn't supply broomsticks. Other than that, everything is very, very good thought out. You press the button and you adjust the height. The leaflet explained how high for seeds, a little lower for seedlings, a little lower for growing plants, a little lower for flowering fruiting plants. Since I want to start the first experiment with seedlings, they recommend 24 inches. But because I want to put something still on the ground, so when I water the seedlings, um, the floor won't get wet, I put it a little higher than 24 inches. A little higher than 2 feet. So, and uh, here is going to be the guardian angels watching over it. The only book about a denium in English that I know of by Dr. Mark Dimit. A denium, sculptural elegance, floral extravaganza. Main author, Mark Dimit, and he had two co-authors helping him. Okay, so now all I have to do is bring the plants. Oh, and still one thing I want to add. It doesn't have only turn off and on button, but it also has the dimming button where you can put the light weaker and stronger. So I made started with weaker and uh, watch the plants if they're doing all right because I don't want to get them sunburned. If they're doing all right I'll put it stronger, stronger, stronger. And if that's okay, I can put it even low, lower so it'll be even stronger. So they'll grow at their maximum speed. Okay, let me go and get the plant set up. Okie dokie, artichokey. Arabicum sprouts and similar ones are outside and micro broccoli sprouts and again outside our trays with planted same day. Let the experiment begin and I will report hopefully very good result. We'll see. Bye-bye, my friends.